Hello guys, this is Jocasta Lester. In this video, I want to talk about something that I believe is um, very important to discuss. Um, I believe that they've used a great deal of sarcasm and practical um, joking to convince people that they aren't serious about their evil pursuits when they are very serious. Something is still serious, guys. In fact, I would argue that it's safer to treat them as though they mean everything that they say. And though they laugh, they mean what they say. So when they say they want to kill this one or that one, take it under advisement as though they meant it. Because the converse is so irresponsible. It's just so irresponsible that you don't want to know the outcome of everybody believing that something is a joke that isn't. So they put out fake news stories. What they did was flood our eyes. They flooded our ears. They flooded our minds. They flooded our airspace with lie after lie after lie, with joke after joke after joke, with satirical reference after satirical reference. Then they went on to rape and pillage, truly, while people laughed and derided one another, thinking that they were joking. While one watches a meme over here, another endures one of the most horrific experiences of their lifetime. All under the canopy of laughter, ostracism, alienation, and humiliation. So with that said, Something is still serious, guys. They make these little fake news stories using Photoshop. I give an example in this video, but they mean what they do. Treat them as though they speak meaningfully. They don't like you and they mean to hurt you. They just can't do it just yet. Treat it as thus and then you see. No, they're not joking. They're, they've overwhelmed the institutions that are good with evils in an effort to destroy under Satan. Hey, did you see that show where they said they, they're eating dissident? Well, I'm telling you, dissident is a human that they've decided to slaughter, or rather in that particular uh, meme of sorts. A person that stands up against the establishment, a person that challenges the authority that is so, that is a dissident. A person that says no when they decide to, let's say, uh, uh, introduce a law, a sweeping law as it pertains to abortion. They say, no, abortion is wrong. A dissident is a dissident is the one that says abortion is wrong. <laughs> so they've used abominable works in an effort to destroy the good as God has made so. See, the lying tongue it's an evil thing. And though they've used this way of talking where they say, yes, no, yes, no, yay, nay, is frowned upon in the Bible for a reason. They've used satire and the practical joke ad nauseum. They flooded us with it and made it more difficult to tell the truth and to recognize if someone is telling the truth or a lie. So that someone tells something in a straight face and you're trying to figure out, are they joking? Well, they use that to get away with murder. They try to use sarcasm to defeat deliberate speech. Please repent. They laugh and then strike with, you thought I was joking. I was dead A-Z-Z -Z serious. You just didn't get it. They're that cruel. They're that hateful. And I'm telling you, they're modeled after a particular type of people. Particularly Beyonce and Jay-Z from afar. Those two appear to me to be people that may or may not use that way. Where in front of us, they were married. No, they weren't. They were dating. No, they weren't. And then they were married. It's a similar thing. And they've done it all over society and now erected a temple to the worship of Beyonce, particularly in people's flesh. There are people who have contended with a particular spiritual entity that comes into a person's body and tries to make a person bow down to Beyonce, Rihanna, and all types of people. And see, I speak it and it seems like it's a joke. Everything on my channel is serious. Understand, I mean this. I don't care if you think I'm crazy. 
That is a part of it. The entire cabal that says don't take people seriously. I say take people seriously until they say they're joking. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's safer that way to assume that people mean it. They're just struggling to tell the truth about it. Repent for the kingdom of heaven. Excuse me. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Come to Jesus. And yes, something interrupted as I spoke. Cast it out as you see fit. Blessings.